outside of Hammonds Ferry Road. I'm actually right next to the Hammonds Inn. So I don't, I think it's like a bar. There's also not really any parking. I'm walking down the street this way to try and show some of the roof. Most of it looks okay, however, if you look, like there's that one spot that's sticking up. I can't really see the other side. Maybe if you get away with just patching it, it looks like there might just be one layer of shovels. The house needs a lot of work and there's a lot of square footage, which I feel like could be a negative. Just because how much money are you going to get for a house like this? Also, there's not really any parking. So the house itself, I believe, was divided into two apartments. I guess I'll walk around the outside first and then go to the inside. Painted asbestos siding and there's two meters. So I don't know if you can keep the two meters or... See some where it wasn't painted. Had to convert it back to one meter. Windows are wrapped in vinyl. It's a basement. There's a big basement, however, the ceiling height is low. This one's a little rotted. So there is a dirt alley back here. Um, Maybe you can make a parking spot out of this. And there's people over at the bar right now taking a look. I think there's a rental property above the bar. So from here, the roof looks okay. The gutters just need to be cleaned really bad on the left side because of the tree. See that yucky basement entrance? Let you decide what you think of the condition of these shingles. So there's a little addition off the back. Broken up sidewalks, but whatever. I think is okay. I mean, it's that footer looks like it's leaning a little bit. Stairs are okay. A little warm here at the bottom, but it's not terrible. Like I said, I think most of it is wrapped in the ceiling portion. Now I'm not going to enter, the front door is boarded shut. I have to enter through the side door here. Okay. So there's stairs going to a finished attic. Living room. The floors are pretty uneven. They lean this way towards that uh, basement entrance. Big open space. So you have the kitchen straight ahead. Nice high ceiling height. A lot of walls to paint. And then this is what I think was the second apartment, like a breezeway to the second apartment. So you can see these windows. Plan on replacing almost all the windows. First bathroom here. So on the other side of the wall with the mirror is the kitchen. Okay, so then as I turn back around, got some mold growing. This window was replaced though. I guess this was a bedroom. I don't know what you would make it now. You can see the walls, different layers. So I guess there was one layer 
of sheetrock and then a second layer of sheetrock on top. And the same goes with the floors where you can see this threshold is missing. There's a bunch of layers of flooring. And then this area turns into paneling. So there's a bedroom, front entrance to the left, bathroom and another bedroom. And then it goes back this way into a kitchen and utility room, I guess. So I guess we'll start going this way with the paneling that has been somewhat painted. And this side does have replacement windows. You can see the vents. Then, like I said, this is like a utility room. I guess this used to be a kitchen. Could be a good place for a washer dryer. Looking out this way, that's the bathroom on the other side. And I think that's like a shed to the left out the window. And then this is the back entrance. Like I said, washer dryer, mud room. So as I come back into so the, heel, the ceiling height is really high into this one, I guess you can call it a bedroom, but not really because there's no closet. Now I'm going to go to the right. Here's the bathroom, all white. And the ceiling, the floors do droop now from here. Here's the high point where I'm standing. And then they droop this way to a low point next to the left of that vent. Okay. Another bedroom with nice high ceilings. It's good these windows are updated because I think that's a custom window size. And there is a little closet here. Six panel doors. Some of the outlets are updated and some are not. That's two prong. Over here's three prong, three prong. Got some cable pre wired. And then here's the main entrance. And there's this wall here. So I almost feel like you could take out this wall because the pink room is kind of unnecessary here. Take out this wall and then you have a big open living room, dining room area. And again, the outlets that are original on the wall are not updated, but they did put in newer receptacles. And you can see the windows are updated here, which is good because it looks like a custom size. <laughs> Probably need a new front door, and there's that spot for the stained glass above the door. And again, a lot of paint <laughs> you're going to need for this house. So that's the main level. This is the wall I think you should take out. First full bath, and then the second full bath is on the other side. Did I go back? I think I did go back. No, I don't think I did. There's the exterior backyard entrance, and again, this is where the second washer dryer would go if this was still an apartment. We're going to go upstairs first and then downstairs. This is a newer railing kind of rough railing, but I suppose you could just stain it. The attic here does have high ceiling height, except for right here when you actually walk up the stairs where I'm standing right now. I fit, but my head grazes over here. So for a tall person, this could be a problem right around this area at the top of the stairs. Ow. 
These windows are not replaced, but they seem like a pretty standard size. Good high ceiling height. For the most part, everything seems updated. You got the vent, updated three prong outlet. And then you have a big closet here to the left. So you could make this into a, well, a really big closet. A closet, they need new windows. It's all rotting. Mm -hmm. Well, not rotting, just dried up and lifting up. Okay, now down to the basement. Here's that side entrance, back in the living room. Now I'm gonna go into the basement with a pretty tiny door. It kinda smells like cat pee down here. light on. Okay. So as you can see, two meters. Got a little sink there. Um, so it's pretty dark. I'm not that high from the ceiling height. I'm gonna guess it's maybe six feet. I'm not that far from the ceiling. You can see these old cellar walls. Pretty gross looking. Utilities, you have two hot water heaters, two furnaces, oil tanks, which again, I know is kind of hard to see in this video. I guess there was a drywall wall on here at one point. Maybe these supports were just put in to keep the wall from crumbling. I don't really think it's a support that. I feel like that's more cosmetic. For paneling, that makes sense. So they could put paneling in here. You have mold. Uh, okay. Old door. It's just a really big basement. There we go. Another furnace, air duct. They might be in good shape. Might be able to, I mean, it's kind of dry down here, really. I can't remember. There we go. Duct work. I guess this is like an old, I, I was going to say like sort of like water drain, but I don't know. This is like right here, like my forehead. So 2011, someone was out here. It all vents out of the chimney, that's straight ahead. Like I said, second oil heater. I guess this is the main plumbing drain. I think this is a shower underneath us. And then over on this corner, in this dingy basement. Well, like, surprisingly dry. Uh, it doesn't even have a sump pump. And then there's two meters. I think each has a hundred amps. So south side and north side. Uh, 
I mean, the foundation does seem pretty solid. Just the, you're right next to a bar. There's no parking. You're on a busy road and across the street from you is the light rail.